Hello everybody, welcome to another audio commentary done by SBK and this is between uh, Very Big Man and uh, Blee, Bly, Bly, Bly for Egg, Bleg, Bleg, whatever. And <laughs> this is for WCG 2009 qualifier and uh, not qualifier exactly. Uh, so we're at finals and this is a group stage and this is group one between these two players. And I think this is one of the first games they played in group one. In group one, group A. Um, I'm off today. Anyway, but Fly for Egg is going to be the <laughs> it's going to be the orange undead player spawning at the ten o'clock on turn stand, and of course, very big man is going to be the yellow human player spawning at uh, four o'clock. And this is group group A. I know I knew I said I was going to cover group. I think group C. Yeah, I'm I'm going to cover group C, and I sent out a message. To all my fellow ca commentators on YouTube, and they all they all called it their. Um, I think Blitzshot called the called the best groups, and um, yeah, the uh, what happens is what happens. I told I told everybody I was gonna I was going to get to group C, and Blitzshot hop, hop on the hop on the YouTube PM told me he's going to do group. I think he's going to do group uh, D and E, which is the best groups. I think. And I think Group D has Infi and Longwalk, and Group E has uh, Sky in it. Anyway, he's going to do D and, D and E, and um, I'm going to do Group A and C now, and I think Leatherus is going to do Group uh, F, E and F. Wait, did I get that right? Uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm going to post post that on the, on the YouTube descrip description just, to, just so you can uh, know what's going on. And anyway, undead versus human. This is uh, one of those um, those matchups that people keep complaining about that uh, people think is imbalanced. Uh, mercenary is being purchased by Bly for Egg, <laughs> Bleeg. Uh, I'm gonna call him Bleeg Blag from now. Yeah, just uh, Bly for Egg is kind of dumb. Anyway, uh, very big man is gonna creep this green camp, and he's gonna hit the level two and a half on the AM. I don't know why he's creeping that. Um, Bleeg is going to retreat his mercenary meanwhile bring about five ghouls and after getting tier two started so now he's has no lumber income right now he's gonna make some ghouls in the back meanwhile he's a human he's going to get probably creep jack here um the wall i'm told um oh, i think it's a bad bad idea to yeah to dispel the wall i'm told and then then start wailing on these footmen but the dk needs to be really careful dk doesn't want to take too much damage you're only level one AM level two. I see the progress on the okay. Uh, so very big man is not getting tier two and uh, uh, just uh, just a standard battle. <laughs> if you if there's if there's just such a thing in uh, human versus human versus undead matchup. Looks like uh, a, a goal and the AM is gonna start dueling each other. I don't think that's gonna be a good idea for, for the ghoul. The ghoul is still the ghoul is still getting attacked. Okay, now the ghoul getting coiled and the AM is the one that has to back away. And I think the footmen are needs to retreat. There are six footmen now, and I think one more is in the making. And still no, uh, notice no <laughs> tier two tech from very big man. So I don't, I don't know what very big man is doing, because in just matter of minutes, in about two three minutes, we're gonna see some, <laughs> we're gonna see some gargoyles. Yeah, the graveyard timings are just on par with for the gargoyles, and I don't know. <laughs> Uh, he, he has no uh, blacksmiths either, so the human's gonna have to put down some towers to defend against the gargoyle. And human, either that or he can have to start conserving mana on the AM to get the gargoyles out of there. But in the meantime, the human's not gonna creep anything. I don't think I don't think Black or Bleak is going to allow him. Some uh, low HP uh, front units. There's going to be in the middle of a big fight, and I think. Uh, if all goes well, I go the Gundam is gonna win this thing because the oh whoa never mind <laughs> level three AM just like that say and that is going to win this experiment because the DK can heal but uh, here comes the water torrent but the uh, AM is gonna have is going to have one or maybe one and a half water torrent left on him when the gargoyles pops up and no notice how no a second no second crypt on the on the undead part, so I, I don't know if undead is gonna stay with ghouls for some reason. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be, what this common is supposed to be, and uh, so I'm not gonna, I'm not, I don't know what this is supposed. To, oh, it's still a tier one. I don't know what this human plan I'm doing, and maybe he's gonna try to win a game with the only tier one units. 
and without expansions. Oh, okay, never mind. Now he's gonna cr try to creep with one o'clock and expand, and uh, DK is right on his ass to um, <laughs> just make sure that water, the water uh, water torrents gets dispelled. And uh, okay, no more mana for the abolish magic. Then never mind. Oh, whoa, the frost shadow shadow priest is gonna have to be killed. Not good, not good versus for the undead player. A human expansion is way too late. I got it. That's way late for timing. And here comes the gargoyles. I hope no snow ghouls. Okay. Oh, straight to tier three. Oh, what the hell? Let's see what hero he's gonna get. Maybe uh naga. No. Okay. Why do I say naga? Well, I'm, I'm retarded. I'm sorry. <laughs> naga. That's that's the first hero popping in my mind for some reason. Panda's good. And uh, oh, I, I think I was thinking about Dark Ranger, and I said naga. <laughs> oh, never mind. Dark Ranger is uh. Going to convert some low HP units, but he doesn't have any. The human player doesn't have any, so here we go. We're going to see a panda. There's a breath of fire, it's going to catch almost everything. Yeah, he caught everything actually. And the DK is going to bring some <laughs> skeleton. Meanwhile, the okay, one scouting footman is going to scout this uh, tier 3 timing. And here comes this solar house and panda. Panda Slaughterhouse House uh, tier 3 timing, so we're going to see destroyers. They're actually blo blocked by the water torrent to kill the panda. And uh, the DK can only watch his fellow heroes die here. Um, and the tower is going to be up, so the human is going to have uh, these expansions secured. Meanwhile, the human is going to bank a lot of lumber by now, I would imagine, at his uh, at his main. And uh, still no still no statues. There's two slaughterhouses houses being put down, so we're going to see a statue push versus human. And uh, the statues are statues are really really annoying. If you don't have riflemen, if you don't see it coming, and you don't you don't put down a uh, you don't put down a blacksmith soon, it's really annoying. There's no way you can kill them, kill those things. What are you gonna? Uh, yeah, honestly, at, at tier two, what are you gonna do? What are you going to uh, do about those statues? What are you, are you going to are you going to use um, water elementals? Because they're gonna supply statues with infinite mana and hit <laughs> points. If you get water, a lot of water on toast. So you can only defend with the AM at tier two. All you can do, you can defend with the. Uh, if you get your, uh, um, uh, this is what I meant by getting down a, getting down a um, a blacksmith. If you, so you can get a uh, workshop and then get some chopters, copters or um, fly machine, whatever you call those things. And maybe you can get a, what do you call those, uh, siege tanks with the barrage. And anyway, we're gonna see the water mental is gonna break this surrounded and it's gonna get killed. That's gonna hit the panda to one nope. Oh the water mental what what the hell happened to it? Oh, okay, it's gonna get fed to the DK for some reason? I don't know. I think the water mental expired for some oh, that's that's too bad. And here's the first statue, and I think human knows exactly what's coming to him, so he's gonna have to tower up in his bang. Oh my god. That's a little excessive. <laughs> I didn't expect that. It's like ten towers. Five down here, three up, eight towers, and uh, it's just five up here. So, <laughs> so uh, tower D for the human, and uh, the undead is on. Undead needs to do to get this uh, destroyer upgrade up, and these water torrents gonna can kiss good. Human can kiss their water water torrents goodbye. Looks like a cloak of shadow is gonna be dropped. I don't think the undead has killed a creep yet <laughs> until these. Uh, maybe he killed a couple in, uh, during creep jack, during creep uh, while he was creep jacking human. Anyway, still no tier two from the human player. I don't know what he's waiting for. Um, he's making peasants. Maybe he's behind on number or something. But I, I couldn't imagine he's behind on number. Let's see, he's a very big man's uh, not all. Hey, he's kind of behind on number. Oh, that's right. He put down like two million towers. That's true. that's how you get behind on number. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, level three DK with the with the with the destroyers. That's not good. Uh, destroyers are gonna suck your suck your wall into a dry. Really, uh, it's, uh, just devour magic the crap out of your wall until. And he's not doing it. Oh, here is a devour magic. And those footmen is gonna get is going to melt under by the by the destroyer fire. What do you call that? Orb of corruption or something? No, no, no. That's an item. <laughs> not even talking about. Uh, it's that, um, what's Destroyer's auto, auto cast attack? Oh man, it's gonna bug me for the rest of the night. Uh, and there's a statue! Oh, nice coil! Wow, that's a hell of a, that's a hell of a, goes to move to turn that statue to the, to a Destroyer, be right before it was destroyed, and coil it. And, whoa, where's the AM going? AM, um, AM has a big, uh, oh, what do you call those, um, 
potion of greater healing on him, so he's going to be okay for a while. Maybe he's going to get a, a dropship here to save the AM, but 